Okay, so this video is going to be uh, showing you how to tune a clean double string unison. This is unit two. But I'm going to do it on this upright using the Go Sharpies flat technique. And I'm not going to really explain the theory of it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to fail at the stability part and just make a very simple analysis of what I need to do to make it better. All the theory is there. Everything I'm doing is making sense that way. Uh, but I'm not. I'm just not going to go into the, the real deep explanation. It's all there in the stability course. So first, we're going to mute the third string, and I'm going to tune this using three phases: application of force until it sounds clean. And then phase two is letting go. It went out of tune. That means I started too sharp. So I'm gonna start again, go sharpies flat. sharp I'm applying force it's a lot less now because it wasn't so sharp eh? let go it passes phase two now we do the test for phase three hard blows now I ask you to do ten blows with the pedal down or you could do three hard blows the reason why I say 10 blows with the pedal down is because people, when I tell them to do three hard blows, they go, this is not a hard blow. This is a hard blow. That's a hard blow. And it goes out of tune. Okay, did it go sharp or flat? If I massage down, If I massage, I didn't really hear when I massaged down, but I massaged up and it got better. So that means it went flat. So that means I wasn't sharp enough. So let me go sharper. Ah, it went out. Because I went too sharp. That's less. Still too much. It went out when I let go. If it goes out of tune when you let go, that means that uh, you were too sharp. I'm not going to go into all the theory about that, okay? I'm not going into all the theory. I'm just telling you. If you want a blind, a blind recipe, that's the recipe. Go sharp, ease flat. If it goes out when you let go, you were too sharp. So it went sharp and I pulled. Well, I'm not really happy with that, eh? I don't think the unison was clean in the first place. There, it was clean, I liked it, I let go, it went sharp, I was too sharp, so let's go not so sharp. There, that's not so sharp. When you're doing this, you have to remember, eh? Like, remember what you just did. Because if you have to go not so sharp, well, what did I, how sharp was it before? I can't remember. You have to remember. That went out. 
but not when I let go, eh? The recipe that you just want the blind me message, the blind recipe that you don't have to think about it, is that when you're massaging, if it goes out when you let go, you were too sharp. In this case, it went out when I hit it. So I can't use that recipe. But I need to know if it went sharp or flat. You can pull or push. I'm pushing. It's going better. That means it went flat. So if it goes flat, I gotta go sharper. I gotta start sharper. But now I have to remember, well, how sharp was I the last time? Try to go sharper. And I, I'm using the jabbing, eh? The jabbing or the notching as uh, Randy Potter calls it. Okay, that, that's more, that's more. Okay, clean, let go. Okay, didn't go, uh, didn't change. Okay, let's do the 10 times just to show you how you, you would do it, eh? As a beginner, this is how you would do it. And you hear how some of them are louder than others. So, so this is why I tell beginners, put the pedal down and uh, play it 10 times. Because at least some of those blows are going to be really loud, okay? That's what you need. A loud blow to test your stability. If you want to just do the three hard blows, I will be the judge if it was loud or not. There. That passes. So that was just basic, basic, simple, simple recipe kind of ideas, okay? So let's go over them. You're going to go sharp and ease flat. Go sharp of the target pitch and pull on the hammer to ease it flat. That's if you got an upright piano that works like this. Uh, and if you want to be powerful and really understand and be at the top of your game, you need to understand all the theory. But I'm just giving this basic, me, you know, very uh, low level way of do doing this. And that is, if you got a piano like this, and if it's a big upright or a grand piano, maybe this won't work, but this is this explanation is just for this kind of piano. Okay, so you go sharp any which way, then you pull on the hammer to get the target pitch. So to get the unison, double string unison to be in tune. Now, that's the first, you, you gotta pull on the hammer. Don't let go. Because you want to know if it's going to pass when you let go. So if you just go pull, pull, let go, now you don't know. It could sound good, but maybe it's not stable. It could sound bad, but you don't know if it did sound, sound good when you were pulling. So you want to know. Pull. Ah, yeah, man. Right on, buddy. Yeah. Then you let go. Yeah, man. It's still good. Okay, so you pass the phase two. But if you don't, if it goes out of tune when you let go, that's because you started too sharp. Don't start so sharp. Do it again. Go sharp, but don't go this so sharp this time. Okay? Now, that's how you pass phase two. But what about phase three? When you hit it really hard and it goes out of tune, you need to know whether it went sharp or flat. So here's your double string unison. You tuned it really good. Let's say this finger is the one I was tuning. You hit it hard, boom, it went flat. But you don't know. You can't tell if it went flat or not. And if you think, oh, I can tell, I hear it with my ear. No, you, you, nobody can. Don't think that way. Some people do. They think, oh yeah, I heard it went flat. No, no, you, you can't possibly know. Okay, so to know, you need to make the string go flatter or sharper, but you, you gotta use logic. Okay, make it go flatter. What does it sound like now? Oh, it stinks. That's because it was already flat. But if you go sharp, ooh, it sounds better now. That's because it was flat. 
That's how you tell if it was flat or sharp. If you hit it, whack, 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 boom, now it goes sharp. You massage it down, it gets better. That's because it was sharp. It had drifted sharp. Or you go sharp, it gets stinky, worse. That's because it was sharp. Okay, you need to do that logic. This is a quick demonstration on the go sharp, ease flat. But you must do it in three phases. Apply the force, don't let go. Let go of the force and then test it with hard blows, but there's also the bend test, which is a little early for you to understand. Or the customer test when you get fired because it's not stable. So phase one, apply the force. Phase two, let go of the force. If it goes out of tune, you started too sharp. Phase three, do a test with the test blows for now is fine. If it goes out of tune, you got to figure out whether it went sharp or flat. If it went sharp, you started too sharp. If it went flat, you didn't start sharp enough. Okay. Again, phase two fails. You started too sharp. Phase three fails down. You didn't start sharp enough. Phase three fails up. You started too sharp. I hope that helps. Good luck.